I have to say it was a great honour for me, um, as well as a great adventure really, to research the life of this remarkable Polish and British heroine, Countess Christina Skarbek. The book is called The Spy Who Loved because Christina was a very passionate woman. She loved adventure and adrenaline. Uh, in fact, the British minister in Budapest, when she was based there, uh, Sir Owen O'Malley, said that she had a pathological love of danger. Um, she loved men. She had two husbands and numerous lovers. Um, but above all, she loved freedom and independence, by which I mean both freedom for Poland, uh, freedom for the Allies and Britain, who she worked directly for during the war, but also freedom for herself personally. And I think for her, those, those things were very closely intertwined. Christina was one of the finest members of the service, Francis Kamertz told the Daily Mirror after her untimely death. A magnificent person. And the head of SOE, General Colin Gubbin, said Christina was a woman of great spirit and courage. And there were many such tributes to this marvellous woman. And yet I feel that today, when she's remembered, she has been remembered perhaps more for her murder and the unfitting end to her life. Like many who met her, Christine's killer, Dennis Muldoney, had tried to control and possess Christina, uh, and I think that was an impossible task. Christina was never one to be contained by anyone. Her spirit really defied it. I'm just going to hand back Farula for one more reading. Christina did not live or love as most people do. She lived boundlessly, as generously as she could be cruel, prepared to give her life at any moment for a worthy cause, but rarely sparing a thought for the many casualties that fell in her wake. Dennis Muldowney, her murderer, made a full confession and declined to submit any pleas in mitigation. He was hanged at Pentonville Prison on a rainy morning in September 1952, obsessed with Christine to the end his last statement as he left his cell was, to kill is the final possession. But Muldowney was wrong. He had never possessed Christine. The resistance burning within her was too great. No one ever really possessed her, not her parents, not her two husbands, although Gizitsky had a good shot at it. Not her many lovers not even her closest ally in life, Andrzej Kowerski. If anything, she was possessed by her drive to free Poland. Christine's defining passion was for liberty, in love, in politics, and in life in its widest sense.